Wednesday. I am at camp. I just got here. It is pajama day. So I have my robe on. I have my robe on with my mother D. I was way too excited about pajama day. The boys didn't have any pajamas, so they just have um shark slippers. But Savannah has on her pajamas and mommy has on her robe. So it should be fun. Um, it's a pretty easy day for me today. Yeah because of movie day. So I've got my class for STEAM, for reading, for math, and then they go to recess, to lunch, and then when they come back from lunch, they go to the movie. So it's a really easy day. I like Wednesdays, yay. I'm having so much fun at camp. I don't know if I talked too much about it before, so I don't know. I don't know how much I talked about it. Yeah, so I'm teaching the third and fourth graders. I love my little crew. I have about 20, 21 students, give or take, depending on the week. I'm on week two. And let's see, Wednesday is our movie day. Thursday is our field trip day. And then we ended off on Friday. So I've almost made it through my life as a teacher for five weeks. <laughs> um, what else did I wanna say, you guys? I love my classroom, I love my kids. Um, it's nice, it's nice to do something a little bit different. I know that by the end of the five weeks, I'm gonna be so ready to go back to my regular homeschool mom life. But for right now, I'm having a lot of fun. Um, I've got my little library over here. My little library over here. Maybe I will do, maybe I'll do like a room tour. Yes, let me do a quick room tour and I'll give you some highlights of my room. I definitely had to be super extra and basically bring everything from home here so that I could feel comfortable. Um, Cause I was nervous, I was nervous you guys. I'm not used to a classroom setting. Well, I was in the classroom before um, I had Cameron, but that was 10 years ago. So I'm not used to the whole classroom management thing. Um, I'm just used to my babies and you know, yeah, I'm used to my baby, so I'm just trying to be myself and love on the kids and keep myself from being exhausted. When I get home, you guys, I'm out, okay? I'm literally out. I get absolutely nothing accomplished. So this is week two, and I think I'm getting more accomplished once I get home than I was on week one. I think by week three, I should really be back into the flow. Um, I blogged last night, so I'm slowly gathering myself so that I can actually get things accomplished on top of um, being here all day. The kids are loving it. Kendall and Savannah, um, hmm, their patience is slightly thin. They love being here, but it's a long day for them. So by the time they get home, I basically hear nothing from them, except for yesterday. Yesterday, they were, they were live. They were very live yesterday. So anyway, I know there's a lot of new people here. Um, I wanted to make a separate video about that, but my girl Angie over at This Gathered Nest ended up sharing a bit about me. I think it was last week, and that brought a lot of new people here, which I'm super grateful for. And I have to admit, I was slightly nervous because when you get a huge flux of people, you kind of have this temptation to, I don't know, it's just hard to stay yourself. So I have to remind myself, Serena, just stay your normal self. Don't panic. You know, if they find that they don't like what you post from here on out, they will leave and that's okay. So I do hope you stay around. But if you find that what I'm posting from here on out is not your thing, I get it, you know? There's lots of other people out there. So I had to kind of pace myself. So I am going to be catching back up once I get through. I'm hoping to film more while I'm still in camp while I'm still in camp, but I don't know how that's gonna go. So we'll just kinda play it by ear. Um, but my next series of videos is going to be organization videos. I'm so excited! So I'm cleaning out my room, um, making some room for new things. Um, I'll, I'm gonna be doing basically probably six or so videos different organization videos on cleaning out my room and organizing our records and things like that. So I'm really excited to get those out. And then after that, I'm gonna be doing curriculum videos for each of my kids. I wanna do things a little 
differently now. Um, part of me was kind of feeling like I, I like to make videos that answer a lot of your questions, but this channel was is mainly for me to keep my a document, um, keep a record or document our homeschool journey. So I want to make sure that I stay true to that. This year, I wanted to try to include the kids a lot more. Um, I was thinking about doing an update. You know how people, uh, a lot of times when they have newborns um, and infants, they'll do update videos with them. And then a little bit after, maybe three, you know, two years or so, 24 months, I don't know, however many months, you stop seeing them. So I wanted to change that and I wanted to start doing update videos with my kids concerning homeschool and life and their gifts and their strengths and things like that. So I'm hoping to do those as well. So those are the three that I'm gonna be working on. My organization series, my curriculum choices, and then like update videos with my kiddos. So, um, I have lots of beautiful windows in my room, which I'm super grateful for, but sometimes it makes it hard for me to find a spot to vlog. And yeah, we're gonna get the day started. I miss you guys because I, so far for the last several weeks, I've posted um, all of my Good and the Beautiful reviews. So if you haven't seen those, which I'm sure you have, <laughs> because they have been quite popular, um, they are not my favorite videos to do. However, I really wanted to, I know they're really lengthy, but I really wanted to explain how we're using it because I think it's important. We can get really stuck on curriculum and then we do get reviews, but sometimes I feel like, how do I say this? Sometimes I feel like, I always feel this sense that, okay, it's nice to know what you're using, but I like to know how you're using it type of deal. So that was kind of what I tried to accomplish with my Good and the Beautiful review video. So I do hope you enjoyed them, but curriculum reviews or reviews in general are kind of hard for me to do. So I put a lot of love into those and I hope you enjoyed them, but there probably won't be too many because I'm nice and simple. I'm gonna stick to the good and the beautiful and use my other resources and try to pay as much attention to my kids rather than curriculum. So that's kind of my thing here. I'm gonna try to stick to that. And I say that because it is kind of pressure, you know, I have a homeschool channel and people like to see certain types of videos and yeah, <laughs> I don't buy a lot of things and I don't use a lot of curriculum. Um, so that's just not, what I do here and I'm start, I'm trying to stay true to that. Um, I will have quite a few haul videos coming up and that is only because um, I have another video on budgeting in homeschool, but uh, I do have a, quite a few of haul videos that are coming up. But I, you guys know I try to make wise decisions when it comes to homeschool purchases. So this time around I do have haul videos only because we have basically stretched our resources for the last two and a half years. Um, so a lot of the things you see around my homeschool are things we've had for like two and a half years. So I don't really get too many new things except for like... Um, um, supplies so like paints and things like that so I have a homeschool supply video coming up and I have a homeschool just another homeschool haul um, yeah so I have quite a few well a couple of those that are coming up and that's only because we have basically stretched our, our resources thus far um, yeah I'm getting chatty anyway let me get on with my day okay, okay. so let me show you my library. I brought a few of my books here, books that I thought my third and fourth graders would enjoy, and this is my library. This is my classroom. Got the rest of my kids here so far. Then I've got my little word building center. You guys have seen this. And brought these along for math. We have a technology center. We're using this center with math apps. So I thought that would be the easiest way to handle the different grade levels um, by having a little help from my friends. 
It wouldn't be a Serena classroom if there wasn't a little technology station. That's how we do things. Over here, we have a little pizza shop station. We are going to be doing fractions. Um, I'm gonna have the kids take orders and put fractions onto their pizza. We're gonna add fractions here. I'm gonna give them like an order and tell them what portion of the pizza I would like with what, um, with whatever topping. So, and then I also have my iPad and my Osmo. The Osmo has that pizza game that goes along with it. I forgot what it's called. It's like Pizza Company or something like that. But um, I will bring that along on Friday so that they could use that at this station as well. And then you guys, I have all my slippers and everything. Um, for Bible time, we have like a team Bible huddle that we do every day. And for that, I have been using my indescribable devotions. It's been working out perfectly. Um, oh, and it's perfect because I have stars on my robe. Oh, that's so exciting. Okay, so my class is called the Rising Stars. You can see how perfect it is. Um, so I am using this for our Bible time. It's been working out so I have that over there in the corner with their Bibles. Bought my little telescope, because that's fun. I had them write their names and a little bit about themselves on these little cell phone printouts that I found, which you probably won't need those. This is just kind of my classroom setup, so, um, but I will link it below just in case. I don't know, just in case. It was fun, and Cameron enjoyed doing it. I don't know if I mentioned that Cameron is in my class, so he is in my class. He's in third, fourth grade class with me so i had them fill out their names on the planet and then fill out a little like mock cell phone with information about them they really enjoyed that on their first day um what else then i have like a little station over here and this is just my station for little math games for little math games and base 10 box shape box all of these things I know you guys have seen from home. And yeah, that is basically it. This is my room. And then this quote, this quote is actually on my boy's wall at home, so I just kind of wrote that up there for them. And I gotta go be with my kids now. So I'm getting hot, so I'm gonna just kind of like put it around my waist. Like that. Yay. Okay.